Are you fixing that thing? Uh-huh. This gizmo right here. We're gonna get that thing back in action. We'll actually have a look at three off-grid water systems that we have functioning right now. And now that I think about it, there actually might be a fourth. So maybe there's a bonus one. Okay, we're ready to put it in. And a new pen stock. Okay. Here's the big beaver pond. There's a whole bunch of them. We have an older video, maybe two years ago, about the ram pump. And so you will see us initially installing this. And what we're doing now is we're making it better. Not the ram pump itself. That thing is still awesome. It's just that the girls broke it when they brought it in last winter. But the ram pump itself has been going strong for years. But what we used to have from this end, the ram pump end, all the way up to where we just were up at that beaver pond. We used to have black poly pipe. And man, what a pain to prime that. It just, you know, we just laid it on the, around the ground, right? And so it wobbled around. And I think it'll be way better to run some rigid pipe. We have a very geeky thing to do. Geeky? Yeah. Great. Oh we are gonna figure out exactly what the head is. What? Yeah! That's cool, right? That's really geeky. I know, but we gotta know. We gotta know how much head there is. We are gonna get scientific. You're gonna look at the levelness of this, okay? Every, that way everyone will know. It's not a, this isn't no joke. There's no scam. Okay, point, not quite as high, point to the, Oh, you're like wobbling the stick. Yeah, right there. Just a second. Tell me, confirm again. Yeah, you're pretty good. Okay, you guys just hold that point. Down, right down there. See how you look down there? Right there? Yeah. Okay, did you measure it? Yeah. What was it? Feet. Exact? Yeah. 50, three 50 and a half. Three and a half. Don't you guys love this stuff? From the bottom is just about three and a half, eh? Yeah. So, so three and a half. 50. We gotta, no, we add them together. 57. Yeah, 53 and a half plus three and a half is 57. And what we do is we subtract that from the bottom, right? Oh my goodness. So it's 12 feet minus 57, which is like, that's almost six feet, right? So if, the, if this water goes down a couple inches, which it will, like pretty soon, then it would be down at, oh, we nailed it. <laughs> We're actually like bang on, it was six feet. Wow. That's amazing. The reason why this is important is because you guys might want to install your own and you're like, well, how much water do I need? Once this is all running and it's dumping in the tank at the top, I will measure the gallons per minute. And you'll know, in case you want a super cheap and easy water system for your off-grid homestead. Hold on, just a second. That, that's not six feet, we did our math wrong. If we rounded up the 57 inches to 60 inches, that's five feet from 12 feet. So we're actually starting with seven feet of head. I bet you, you guys were just killing yourself. You're just like <laughs> screaming and you're like, that's not six feet, that's not six feet. It's seven feet, you're right. There it is. So close. Land to house. You can check his YouTube channel or his webpage and you can actually buy this from him. Seth. It's a great guy. You can open up the other, the intake valve when we open up this valve. Yep. Okay, one, two, three, go. Oh yeah, and don't let it... Oh shoot. Well, it's still coming. There we go. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Okay, don't let it... I can't let it... Okay. Oh man. That's... that's a good fountain, hey? Yeah. Wow, I don't even hear or see much bubbles at all. Okay, don't let it... 
Good. Now we gotta let it let it flow for a couple minutes. Um, and make sure all the air bubbles are out of the line. Because this thing will not work with air bubbles. What a peaceful little spot, hey? The creek carries on. Okay, well, try it. You broke it. Oh yeah, they see there's some little bubbles coming out. It's got to get some water in here for it to work properly. So each time it slams shut, a little bit of water is going in. And you just got to keep pushing that until it gets some back pressure. We're close. <laughs> Normally the water would flow right out, but that flapper valve, there's a flapper valve in there, and when the water flows, it catches the flapper and it flaps up and it stops the flow. You can't just stop flowing water like that. We just did some math. There's about 20 liters of water in this pipe. And that's about 20 kilograms. And that 20 kilograms is flowing. And so if you stop it like that, it hammers. And it, and it has a spike in pressure. And that spike in pressure overcomes this little check valve. And it squirts through into the pipe that goes up to our tank. I've got over a thousand feet of pipe and I th it's about 40 feet. I'm only dropping seven feet and I'm able to pump up 40 feet. So that's the magic. This thing doesn't require any solar power, no fuel, nothing. We are gonna walk away and it is gonna pump day and night all summer long. Yep. Okay, let's go. And we will show you the next water system. It got rainy, which is perfect for our next water system. But first, let's check. Let's check the uh, the tank on a hill. Okay, it is a thousand gallons. You see all that water coming over? That's from the ram pump. Uh huh. We are getting too much water. We're not using enough. We're not using enough because it's pouring with rain. The ram pump, I'll double check. But when I bought it a couple years ago, it was like 250 bucks. So coming out of the tank, I got a little header here, and I got this main one inch line goes down towards the house and it goes to the greenhouse, mm -hmm. it goes to the gardens in front of the house, and it goes to the duck pond. Yeah. Does it go anywhere else? It goes to the goat pen. Oh yeah. And it goes all the way over there to the goat pen, which has a cow in it right now. Yeah. Around here, a tank goes between a dollar and two dollars a gallon. So if you can get a used one, it's cheaper. Uh, but you know, a thousand gallon tank, this might be a thousand dollars. So that is system number one. System number two, it's right there. The pond has been an amazing water system for us. It's roughly about 50 feet by 80 feet by, it's 15 feet at the deepest point. Uh -huh. So how many gallons of water is that? A lot. 
<laughs> it's a lot. I installed a line from there all the way up under the ground to here. And the line comes up and tees over to the suction end of a pump. And you could use any pump you wanted to here. I'm using a little Honda. But what do we use this for? For pumping the tank when it's super dry. Yeah, we can pump it up into the tank if the ram pump wasn't working for some reason. And we flood the rink. And we flood the rink with it. So it works in the winter time, which is mm -hmm. amazing. Because when it's all frozen and snowy, we can still pump water. Mm -hmm. And there is a little trick to this suction line. If you go to this other video, it's the one where we flood the rink. It's the rink. But I'll tell you the trick about this inlet thing. You got to see that video for it. But it's very simple. Again, this is 100 feet of pipe. And the pond, it's going to depend on your situation. But we hired a friend with a hoe and it took them a day or two. And so it cost a thousand or 1500 or something like that. And for the amount of water there, remember it was exactly 10 hundred thousand oodles of water. And it's ex that's extremely cheap for that price. And that water is perfect, like untreated for the gardens and for the animals. And now we should get out of the rain and show you the rainwater system. Look, there it is. You see solar panels, but what you don't see, maybe we should go up there and have a look. Hey, we should get a ladder. Mm -hmm. There's our rain farming roof. That's where the drain is. You can see a little bit of like leaf debris stuff on top of the screen. That's an aluminum kind of a cage that just protects, like keeps those leaves and sticks out. So I'll show you on the inside where that water goes. There's two drains, they go inside the building. There is one of them. So the water is collected in that three inch ABS. And it comes down here, you can hear it right now trickling. It comes down, comes over, it actually goes down right there. And it goes down again right here. And now, you wonder why does it go down twice? Well, that is the big secret. It comes down right here. There's actually a T up there and it keeps going, but the water obviously would come down the T first. So the water would come down here. You can tell something's wrong there. I'll get to that. And it would get into this tank. And this tank just has a little valve at the bottom. And so when the valve is shut, or almost shut, this will fill up. Right? When it starts raining, this is the first thing that fills up. Right. That's why it's called the... First flush. First flush. Because this thing holds about 15 gallons. And only when it's totally full will the water go right by it, because it's full, and the water will go down the second pipe into our water tanks. So back to the first flush. Mm -hmm. The water first fills up this thing. Mm -hmm. And what is it about the first 15 gallons of water off the roof? It's very dirty. It's kind of dirty, right? Because mm -hmm. the rain is washing the roof off. Yeah. And when you're washing the roof off, you don't really want it in your water tanks under here for the house. You want to flush it. So it fills up this thing. And then what you can do is, and then after it's full, all the water goes in and fills up your tanks. And then you can come along and open this valve and drain all the dirty water. And you can tell there's some haywire stuff here. You got something crooked and something taped. And then you got whatever this disaster is. And then you got it up there. We actually need to fix this thing right now. And by fix it, I mean toss it. And we're building a new one. <laughs> That's some... Stinky water. That's some stinky water. Oh. 
Oh, it gives me so much pleasure to get rid of this thing. Oh, man. This is so close to perfect, but it's just not quite perfect. Uh-oh. Just like three quarters of an inch longer. I think that's going to make it perfect. Yeah. All right, in the meantime, I'm going to glue up this other piece. So we got this thing mounted. Yeah. Look at that. It's built a nice little solid base. We got the whole drain part done, a great big two inch drain pipe. Wow, that's gonna be not very fun. That's gonna fit perfect. like a little bit of a tidal wave. <laughs> oh. You got wet. Oh. I'm going to lift it off and put it down and then go up. Yep. All right. There you go. We'll go on. <laughs> it's like a glove. We're going to show this to you in action, but it's not raining. So Abigail is going to recycle some of our water so we can actually test the first flush. So you, garden hose, roof. <laughs> Got it? Look at that. Whoa. You can see it. Isn't that cool? Yeah. The other thing you can see is, look at this. You come close, you can see the odd, like, dirty bit floating down to the bottom. I'm not sure I can see that much detail in this thing, but... You should be able to see the odd little piece floating down once in a while. Well, that's good enough to prove it. I mean, it's filling up. I'm not leaking anywhere yet. And it's nice and see-through. The other one was not see-through, so you couldn't see how full it no, was. No, I know. That looks cool. It does look cool. Everything else is pretty straightforward. We've got the roof collecting it, the pipes coming down, the first flush, and then it's just tanks. A little jet pump and a little pressure tank. And it is plumbed right down to some PEX lines here. The PEX lines, they actually don't go to our house. Our house does not have running water. But in the shop, we have four water filters. It's wonderful soft water, it's just dirty. A 20 micron filter in here, and then a, I think a 2 micron filter, and then we have a carbon filter, and then we have like a... A 1 micron. I think it was like a 2 micron, a carbon, and a 1 micron. Anyways, the water coming out is pretty clean. But we still don't drink it yet because all our drinking water, all our water goes into the Berkey. And you guys have seen the Berkey before. We've been using the Berkey for 10 years and it makes the water safe, but it also makes it very, like, tastes nice. Cause it gets rid of any weird smells or tastes in there. And actually, yeah, we did a video featuring the Berkey because it was the video when we made the pond. So maybe I'll link it if I figure out how to do that. And you can see what the Berkey can do. Okay, so this system, it's still incredibly cheap. And by cheap, I mean, let's compare it to a normal well. I've, I've drilled and dug wells on multiple properties and it's always tens of thousands of dollars. The most expensive one was $35,000. And this is way cheaper. So the roof, just, you already have. A bunch of piping, you know, hundreds of dollars. That tank cost me $250. Your storage tanks, again, maybe like a buck or two a gallon, something like that. And often you can find secondhand ones for cheaper. The pump and the pressure tank, again, a couple hundred dollars at the hardware store. No one would know the difference between the rainwater system and like a normal townie house. Okay, let's flush this thing. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh, that drains fast. <laughs> Woo! Oh man. Huh. Wow. That drained in just seconds. Cool. Okay, so valve closed. It's ready to first flush the next time it rains. Yep. Ready to go. Okay, there's one more system. A bonus water system. Yep. This old tank. And this woodshed roof. And that's all it is, is a gutter. And let's check this. An old colander, look at that. It's got pine needles and gunk in there. And this stuff. So this water tank was our very first water system here. And it's really cheap. And it's just kinda always sitting there. And again, you're not gonna drink it right out of there, but it's plenty clean to do anything else with. So there you go, there's your bonus water system. Oh, and here's a bonus bonus. There's still room for one or two of you to join us at the off-grid camp out. If you just want to see all of this stuff, like firsthand, and you want to meet some other people who are into homesteading and off-gridding, and I think you guys would find it really encouraging if you're thinking about doing something similar, or if you just want, I don't know, like a vacation in a bit of paradise, and you want to slow down for four days and eat some of Rose's delicious cooking, then come join us. Actually, Dad forgot to measure how much the ram pump pumps. It sounds like it's just dribbling in. Okay. Three minutes and 32 seconds. 0.28 gallons per minute.